Today I've built a roster with 32 teams, each representing a different jersey number. From Greg Ostertag's double zeros to Steph Curry's number 30, we've got current day stars and NBA OGs alike competing to prove supremacy for their chosen jersey number. Leave me a prediction down below right now with which number you think will be the ultimate victor of this video. Also, quick shout out to my guy Lost and Unbound. His video on jersey numbers inspired this idea. There's a handful of rosters that obviously stick out to me as being elite. Number one with Oscar D. Rose. T-Mac, D-Book, Zion, what a mix of old, new, and electrifying players. Number 13 should be cooking. They've got an insane top end with Wilt Chamberlain, Steve Nash, James Harden, PG-13 version of Paul George. That's a roster. Oh, nah. Number 15 might be the best team, though. Jokic, Vince Carter, Nuggets, Mello, Wayne Embry. They got bigs. They got smalls. They got depth. I should also mention at this moment that, unfortunately, when building a roster, you can't have duplicate numbers on the same team, which I found out, uh, I don't know, like six hours into producing this video, so it was too late by then. But for example, on this loaded number 21 team, which actually might be the best roster out here, Tim Duncan is wearing 21, but the rest of the roster, uh, just random numbers, which kind of sucks, but you guys get what I'm doing. You know what? I'm going to stop saying a single number is the best roster we've got, because look at number 23, LeBron, Michael Jordan, AD, Mitch Richmond, Jimmy Butler is in here somewhere. You knew this team was going to be amazing. Number 32 has the most, I think the most 90 overalls, including 99 Magic. They've got Nets version of Dr. J, Carl Malone, Kevin McHale, Shaq is down there somewhere. What? I should also mention at this point that I did skip over some numbers like 28, 29. There weren't very good players there, and some numbers in the 30s had some stacked rosters, so it's not simply 0 to 30. Number 33 would be the next example of that. I mean, with Kareem, Larry Bird, Scottie Pippen, Patrick Ewing, David Thompson, I obviously had to include number 33. I mean, that is loaded, as is number 34. Four, led by the prime version of Shaq with Hakeem, with Giannis, with Chuck Barkley. They don't have a lot of guards, but dude, that is a dominant force right there. And those are just eight rosters among the many, many stacked ones that I've found here with our jersey number teams. Again, let me know who you think will dominate this video. Now let's find out. Wow. Out of all the legends players in this video, Bob Pettit comes through with MVP for team number 9, 25, and 11. I didn't even shout them out in the intro there. They must have been good though for him to win MVP. Joe, uh, oh, okay. I knew it. Number 21, I did mention them. He wins six man because they also have Duncan Garnett. I can't remember who else, but Joel's coming off the bench. Bill Russell for team number six wins DPOY. Okay, that checks out. His numbers weren't crazy. All NBA first team, Oscar Robertson. I think he's in this video twice, but number 14 version makes all NBA first. Magic 32, KD number 35, KG number 21, and there's Bob Pettit. We've got Reggie Miller, number 31, all NBA second number 13, James Harden. There's number six, LeBron. So with Bill Russell, they must have been real good. At All-NBA third, we've got number 24, Kobe. Nice to see him in there. Number 30, Steph. Zion Williamson. Ben Simmons? What? And there's number 21, Tim Duncan. It's a lot of numbers to go through, but in the West, I do see number 34 with Shaq, Hakeem. None of them got individual accolades, but they're obviously the one seed. Number 21 is in there. Number 32 with Magic and the boys. While over in the East, Bill Russell, LeBron are the one seed in Interesting. I do see Larry Scotty number 33 there at the bottom. Makes sense. Teams that missed the playoffs include number 25, which I believe was Ben, yeah, ben Simmons made all NBA, but missed the playoffs. Number 50 was also pulling up the rear. This was uh, basically David Robinson, Ralph Sampson, not much else. One version of Kobe made all NBA, but the other number eight was well out of the playoffs. D will Kobe. Yeah, I guess this roster wasn't that deep. While in the East, double zeros missed the playoffs. Yeah, that pretty much checks out. Robert Parrish did not carry. Also checking out KD's number 35. I wanted to include his number 35 in this video and the roster wasn't horrible. Number 17 also well behind the pace at 20 wins. Who was 17? Lynn Sanity, John Havlicek. check. I thought this team would be okay, but I guess some teams had to get losses here. Wait a minute. Number 23 missed the playoffs. Not only MJ LeBron, but Mitch Richmond, AD Lou Hutt. Wow. I mean, they won 43 games. They should have made the playoffs. The West is stacked, but come on, man. We also had KD who won a scoring title. He missed the playoffs as I established his supporting cast wasn't great. Bob Pettit second in the league in points. Reggie Miller way up there. I think he missed the playoffs though too. Bob McAdoo. Okay, number 15, Bob. But overall, there's always way too many storylines to grab during round one. So let's advance, see if there's any clutch finishes. Wow, we have three game sevens up first. Team 21 versus number 11. 21 is that stacked team with KG, Tim Duncan, Joel off the bench. Number 11 is Isaiah, Kyrie, Yao punching above their weight for sure here. Wow, and they're doing 
making it game seven. They're up one under two minutes left. No, they're just going to keep trying to force feed Joel against seven foot six Yao Ming. Joel fades. Oh my gosh. What are they doing? This game is right here for team 11 in the clutch. They're getting stops. Trey Young blowing right past, I think, fat lever free throws. Ice Trey hit them both for number 11 and they are up to no shot clock. What does team number 21 do? Oh, don't tell me. Why are they just going to Joel Embiid in the post against Yao? Oh my gosh, and Joel turns it over. No timeouts left for Team 21. Bob McAdoo did brick one free throw. Jimmy Butler, 21 edition. Hits it from deep. That Chicago Bulls, Jimmy Butler in the clutch. Trey Young has time, but he is jogging up court, taking a contested three. Oh, we got OT. Uh, okay, this is embarrassing, but true story. There is a fly in my room, so I actually got distracted. I set the game to SimCast, just trying to advance a couple possessions in OT. And I skipped right to the end where Team 11, despite Jimmy's last second three to send it to OT, uh, Team 11 did pull it off. I'm sorry, anticlimactic finish, but it is what it is. Trey Young, 25 points. What did he do? He had three in OT. Bob McAdoo, six in OT. That's just, that's great, man. That matchup we just saw was a four versus five, but look at Bill Russell, LeBron's number. Number six. They are a one seed potentially losing to an eight seed. Ah, never mind. They went on a run. A uh, 10 point game. Wow, this game got way too close. Our final game seven, though, another potential massive upset. Two versus seven seed. Number 32. That's the team with, yeah, Magic Nets version of Dr. J. Carl Malone, Bill Walton. They got a bunch of studs off the bench. Number nine has Tony Parker, MVP Bob Pettit. And unfortunately, Bob Pettit's insane run with team number nine is going to come to an end. We were this close to having two massive round one episodes. Uh, upsets, but uh, not meant to be apparently. But over in the West, not many surprises. The one seed, number 34, they are loaded. The five seed, number 11, a small upset they pulled off. Then the two versus three seeds, 32 versus two advancing. While over in the East, Bill Russell, LeBron barely survived. Number zero's advanced. Okay. And a three versus seven seed matchup, 24 versus one. Okay. Yeah. Team number 24 is Kobe. One of our versions of Moses Malone, Rick Barry, Paul. Jo oh my gosh. Did I not shout this team out before? they are insane. They're going to have their hands full, though. I did mention team number one, Derrick Rose, big OT Mac, just a lack of big men on this team, but they are loaded, obviously. We've got just one game seven in round two, team number 32 versus team number two. Okay. Oh, we just watched number 32 have to go to seven. Again, a loaded Magic Dr. J team number two has Shea, Mitch Richmond, Kawhi, Moses, a little underrated, but making a run. Number two had a double digit lead in the first quarter of game seven. They kind of fumbled that, but here we are. There's no way this number 32 team with Magic Johnson, Bill. Oh, Bill Walton's got a mismatch. Good foul, John Wall, I guess. Not sure I love this matchup, but Kawhi's going to get space on the fade, and that is money. What was that defense, Carl? Number 32, they have to close this game out, right? Like, they are so stacked. Dr. J... Wow, that is a tough finish in the clutch. Indeed, it was the dagger as team number 32 needs a game seven for the second straight round. I can't believe it, but they're still alive. We've got our conference finals matchup, a one versus two seed jersey number 34 versus 32. That was predictable, but on the other side, jersey number 24 versus zero. Wow, I just noticed LeBron, Bill Russell, and team number six came up short. They were a fraudulent one seed. I don't think I've showed them any love yet, but team number zero, Dame Lillard, Russell Westbrook, Gilbert Arenas, Jason Tatum, that is a squad. They aren't very big, but those guards are insane. And as predicted in the intro, number 34 has swept through these playoffs. They are a behemoth dog. I don't think anybody can stop them, especially since number 32 hasn't been that inspiring. Back-to-back -back seven game series on paper, though, they should be able to hang. On the East final side of our bracket, this thing wasn't even close. Kobe Bryant, Paul George, team number 24 swept team number zero. Apparently, they're on a mission too. Well, in the West, team number 34 would finally drop a six single game, but still it was dominant. Team number 32's run is over. And uh, yeah, we got a couple heavyweights in the finals. NBA finals matchup. We've got team number 24 led by Kobe, who's averaging 22 and 10. Rick Barry, 19 and nine. Oh my gosh. Moses Malone, Paul George. This is a great team. Number 34, an absolute buzzsaw though. Giannis, 21, five and seven leading the way. They can't figure out between Hakeem, Shaq, Chuck, who they want to start. It seems they've got so many weapons. Unfortunately for Kobe and number 24, it didn't 
matter what decisions Team 34 was making as they jumped out to a massive 3-0 series lead in the NBA Finals. Kobe and the boys did manage to take one game, but that would be it as number 34 without breaking a sweat in the finals or the entire playoff run is our champion. Shaq only started three of five games, but still managed to win finals MVP. 20 points per game, eight rebounds, 66% from the field. Yeah, he was pretty good. Maybe I shouldn't have included number 34 in this video, but I thought, man, they might be pretty good with Shaq, Akeem, Giannis. Uh, duh, they were absolutely dominant. Only lost two games in the playoffs and that's, yep, I'm not surprised looking at their roster. But you know what? That was a little bit too dominant. Number 34, could they do it again? Possibly, probably, but I think we need to find out. Let's go a second year. Let's reset this thing and do it again. Okay, and year two simulation in the books. LeBron James wins MVP. That is team number six version of LeBron, 22, 10. Yeah. Grant Hill this time around winning six man of the year. I believe Grant is team number 33. They disappointed last year. Bill Russell wins DPOY. All right, team number six. Don't choke this time. First team All-NBA, number 14, Oscar again. Steph is there. I wonder if number 30 made the playoffs this time around. KG, Bob Pettit again dominant. Number 13, James Harden, Reggie Miller, Bob McAdoo, Elgin. Shout out to Elgin. Nikola Jokic, number 15. They were nowhere to be found last season. Magic Jaw, Rick Barry, KD, Tim Duncan, all NBA third. Okay. Once again, we see team number 34 as the one seed over in the West. Team number 32, the two seed. All right. No big surprises there, I don't believe. But Michael Jordan, LeBron did make the playoffs finally. Well, over on the other side, team number 33 is the one seed. There you go. Bill Russell, LeBron, the six seed. I see Kobe's number 24, a three seed again. Okay. Bob Pettit this time around up the ante, averaging 27 and 11. Didn't win MVP though. Steph second in the league and scoring. I think he missed the playoffs though. Yeah. Both KD number 35, Steph number 30. Uh, couldn't carry their team. Both of them had pretty lacking supporting cast, but that's tough. Wow. We're not going to get a repeat champion. Number 34 after losing two games total last playoffs, they get first rounded. And that is why we get more than a one season sample size. Number two is a loaded team. Not sure how they were an eight seed. I think they almost upset number 32 in season one. Anyways, they'll be taking on number 21. That's Joel KG, Tim Duncan. This time they didn't choke in round one while team 32 advances again. Team 11 in round two. Oh, that means LeBron, Michael Jordan, team number 23. They choked once again. I mean, at least they made the playoffs in year two. Over on the other side of the bracket, no choke at least in round one for team number 33 or team number 13. They disappointed last year while we've got Kobe number 24 versus LeBron number six. That's awesome. And we're going to have a completely new NBA finals in year two as Kobe and number 24 are eliminated by Bill Russell, LeBron James. But we've got number two on the verge of upsetting another stacked roster two versus 21. Let's go game seven. And it's close, but it looks like nah, it's not close. Number 21 is going to take care of business after choking in year one. Uh, uh, fair enough. They're loaded. Joel with 33 and eight to lead the way. He's the alpha there with KG and Tim Duncan as well. Interesting. But we've also got a game seven between jersey number 33 and jersey number 13. 33 with Kareem, Larry Bird, Scottie Pippen, Patrick Ewing, David Thompson. I don't know how this team didn't do better in year one, but I could very easily see them losing game seven to Wilt, Steve Nash, James Harden. They aren't as deep, but they have that top end talent. I think that strong balance from team number 33 might be winning out here. They're up five, two minutes left. Also, why is Joakim Noah out here in the clutch? Oh, that's why. A nice little dribble handoff to Steve for two. Number 33 has Alonzo, Mourning, Scotty Pippen, Larry Bird. This is probably their best closing five, Patrick Ewing. Scotty's playing point guard with a crazy floater. Okay, that was very clutch, Scotty. One more stop and a score for Team 13, and uh, we could have some chaos here. Scotty Pippen, he's going to try and force this inside. No, he's taking it himself in the clutch. Scotty's being a closer. Pretty much a disaster class in the clutch for Team 13, but at least they pushed a loaded 33 squad. Conference finals, only one of four teams made it both seasons and that's team number 32 can they make the finals this time around though no they cannot as they fall in six to joel mb tim duncan kg number 21 while on the other side of the bracket bill russell lebron the mvp dpoy they fall short once again one more look at team 33's roster here if not for team number 34 i think i'd say this jersey number is the best roster by far they have seven players rated 95 or higher while their foe in the finals number 21 they are also strong they've got a lot of 
90 plus and obviously that top end talent but not quite the greatest mixture of positional talent positional balance or not it didn't matter team 21 had the talent and they got the tone set in this series the teams would go back and forth through five games but team 21 is a chance to close it out right here in game six i don't know which team is at home it doesn't really matter but team 21 is up three two and barring a miracle i think they've done it team number 21's up 10 team 33 as i explained clearly the better roster grant hill six man of the year oh man that miss might just be the death now does someone have the dagger here all these big men on the court joel's trying to go to work on alonzo morning that is a tough shot he's forcing up but he's got it joel and bead might have just sealed this thing in fact that ugly bucket from joel did seal it neither team shot well at all they shot horribly from deep but 21 takes it. chicago bulls version of jimmy butler actually led the way in a closeout game six with 22 points and your year two champion is indeed the number 21 wow that was way different tim duncan ends up winning finals mvp the face of number 21 you love to see it 18 7 and 6 wow what a video man number 34 was a buzzsaw in year one then choked in year two number 21 took it in year two did that line up with your prediction uh also go check out this video nba hitman it was a lot of fun a brand new idea go check it out if you haven't already